Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Borderlands 2. I am still trying to get inside the place. I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm gonna load this up real quick, and I hope to God it's enough bullets to kill you. I may have lost all my whatever they're called, all my anarchy stacks, but I don't care. Hey, buddy. Oh, you dead too. I. Oh yeah, Hyperion Hawks are aerial... I think they're aerial snipers, or maybe they're aerial rocket launcher users. I don't know. They're just aerial units, and I don't like them. What are you? Ooh. You are... I'm gonna take it. I'm taking it. Just because I like it. I like... I'm a big fan of... Like I said in the last episode, and pretty much every other episode that I talk about weapon manufacturers in this game, I like Hyperion weapons, and I like... Mollywan weapons. <clears throat> I'm not a super big fan of Jacobs anymore. I used to love Jacobs, and I used to love Vladoff, because they basically just do the same thing in different ways. Vladoff is just damage by drowning people in bullets. Jacobs is damage by killing people in one shot. But then they changed how Jacobs works. It's no longer kill people in one shot. It's just pump out damage. It's just, it, it fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. And I don't like that nearly as much. It went from being... It went from being one shot or you weren't using a Jacobs to just just mash. Just mash the trigger. Because they do the same thing. It's just Jacobs is semi-auto and... What's-his-face? Uh, Vladoff is full auto now. And that's... It, it's just... It, eh. It's not my... It's not my jam. It's not my jam. It's not my slam jam. Oh, you're what's killing me. I mean, you're definitely you. You probably yeah, you are. Get oh let just thank you, death trap. You need to fuck right off. Stop it. Just let me hit you. Son of a bitch. Son of bitch. Okay. <clears throat> but if I could continue my story or not story, if I could continue my Salvador rant from last episode. Because this is like, what, not even two minutes in between? <laughs> it's still the same recording session. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about Salvador is... The other thing I want to talk about about Salvador is... All of his all of his upgrades in his trees... I forget if it's... I forget which tree it's under. But all of his upgrades under one of his trees are just movie references. Um, I think there's one called Harder, Faster, Stronger... There's just, uh, oh, there's a ton of them. The only one I can think of right now is Sexual Tyrannosaurus, and apparently that's from a... It's the one line I didn't get, but <clears throat> Sexual Tyrannosaurus apparently was from, I think it was Predator? I don't remember exactly. It was a, uh, <laughs> a spoof commercial in one of the Predator movies where... Uh, But yeah, Sexual Tyrannosaurus was a line from a commercial inside, I think it was Male Vitality Supplement, in one of the Predator movies. Was there only one Predator movie? I don't know, I never, I've never watched any of the Predator movies. Basically, long, long, long and short of this story is that everything related to Salvador under one of his upgrade trees is just movie references and tie-ins. <clears throat> The other one I can think of is, uh, I'm your Huckleberry. <clears throat> I don't remember who Huckleberry... I know it's... I know it's Tom Sawyer... Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? I don't remember. No, that's not Tom Sawyer. It's just someone in Huckleberry Finn. I don't... I'm not... I'm not... Jesus, that hurt. I'm not too good on American history. And historical figures. The only thing I was told to remember was the Alamo, and I've done that. I, re I remember the Alamo. I don't know what the Alamo <laughs> was, but I remember it. Uh... But yeah, that's, uh, I finally get to do the thing I came here to do. Okay, I can't walk through that. Oh, I gotta hit the other pump. Gotcha. Alright, time to go. 
I know that there's a call to the vault somewhere on top of this. Alright, I kind of wish I had a car. I know what I'm gonna go do though. Can I get up there? I cannot get up there. I want to go up there and kill the guy in Hyperion Truth Radio. Or maybe there's a... Is there is there a, uh, a ladder up there or is it just the... Oh, no, 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 I can only get up there and take the quest. Right, right, right. <clears throat> there's a quest that I can that you can go do where you get to go kill the guy up there. And I think he has a good chance of... I know he has a chance of dropping a legendary. I just forget which one it is. I want to say it's... Uh, I, I can't think of what it would be. Never mind. <clears throat> mm, I'm trying to remember where you get all the different legendaries in the base game. And I, I cannot for the life of me think of it. Okay, first off, sir... Oh no, Hyperion Hawks are rocket launchers. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to not do that again. Okay, you're just a dick then. Gotcha. One thing I find kind of funny, and I don't know why I just do, the different corporations, namely Hyperion, and in the last game, in Borderlands 2, or Borderlands 1, there was a company that just did everything. It was called Atlas. Atlas was my favorite, or one of my favorites in Borderlands 1, right behind Jacobs and the, whatever the other one was, uh, Vladoff. Because Atlas, what they did was everything. Atlas's weapons were top of the line. They had everything going for them. Great damage, high rate of fire, incredible accuracy, low recoil, good elemental chance. They were the jack of all trades and the masters of all of them. They were just really hard weapons to find. But, you also fought a lot of Atlas employees. And for whatever reason, Atlas units never had Atlas weapons. They usually had doll weapons. And it's like, I thought you guys were supposed to be the be-all, end-all. And... Apparently not. <laughs> Same with Hyperion in this game. Hyperion loaders almost never use Hyperion weapons. Same with the Hyperion uh, employees. Even though I'm pretty sure the only thing Hyperion doesn't make is rocket launchers. None of the units actually ever use anything that isn't or that is Hyperion. I've not gotten Hyperion weaponry from a Hyperion employee or a Hyperion loader, and I don't know why. I'm mildly perturbed. <clears throat> I also don't. I also am not enjoying dying every three seconds. But they are four levels up on me, so that that's that's why. Much what was that blue light? Much like Heroes of the Storm, fighting people who are up levels on you is just a bad idea. It's just a bad time had by everybody, and nobody likes it. Go down. Thank you. You need to stop that, sir. You need to stop. Just, 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 just fall over. Let me kill you. Damn it. Just, just die for me, buddy. Just die for me. Clap trap, or death trap, I need you back here, buddy. Death trap, I need... Stop fucking moving! Stop it! And if you keep moving, keep moving in a straight line. God damn it, you son of a bitch. I hate you. Don't put me back at the other pump station. Don't do it. Fuck you. Oh, my car's all the way over there now. <sighs> this is my own fault for not leveling up. For not doing all the side quests that I could do. But at the same time, I don't want to do them. I just want to burn through this game as fast as possible. I want to burn through as fast as possible, but on my own time. If that makes any sense at all. I want to do it my way as quickly as possible. But, nope. That ain't happening. Was I actually at the Hyperion Truth Network? No, yeah, I was. Okay. I'm trying to remember what that thing I was looking at. That happened. Whatever. Hey, what are you? You are a... Oh. Something I already have. You're useless! What is that blue light? Oh. Oh things being called in. Gotcha. Right, 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 right. 
So, one thing I will say, if I can go back, I, I need to, god damn it, I need to stop walking into my own corrosive grenade. So I get to walk back across the desert again, good, 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 I've wasted ten minutes doing sweet dick all. Oh, I swear I'm good at this game! I'm, I'm fucking horrendous at this. Uh, I'm, I just, I just want to go... I just want to make a character that's... You know what? Fuck it. I'll take the slag singularity. What was special about it? Lobbed a sticky singularity. So I just chuck it, and then it'll stick wherever it lands. And then pull people in. Gotcha. I like singular... I, mm, let me rephrase that. I've never been a super big fan of singularity grenades. The only one I liked was the quasar. Because the Quasar combined two of my favorite effects. It was a Singularity Grenade, and it was a... Oh, no, I didn't want that. It was a Singularity Grenade and a... I didn't need to redeploy that vehicle. I could have just warped to it. I'm just going to stay in the car for a bit. But yeah, the Quasar was a Singularity Grenade and a Tesla Grenade combined. It would do a, I think, a Slag Nova to pull people in and then shock everything that was nearby it. It was great, and I loved it. I'm gonna run you over. Just because I don't like you. That is one thing I'm glad that they upgraded from Borderlands 1 to Borderlands 2. In Borderlands 1, if you hit somebody with your car, and their health was higher than your car's health, your car exploded and you die. Even if you just lightly tap them, your car, if you were, basically if you ran up against a high level Ex a high level badass unit, your car exploded, and you died. Rather, you'd go down. You didn't actually die, you'd go down. This game, they're a lot more lenient. You take a little bit of damage every impact, based on how fast you were going, and enemies get ragdolled. The faster you were going, the more damage they take, and the more damage your car takes, so you can't just kill people with it, but it was a lot, it's a lot better system than what you ow. Go to hell, infiltrator. There we go. Death trap is dead, unfortunate. I'm gonna pull up my gub and I'm gonna start popping them. Right in your dome. This is not working well. I don't like ion loaders. I really don't. Suck it, ion loader. Suck it, other ion loader. Other equally annoying ion loader. One thing I do need to go get is a moxie weapon, because I didn't realize moxie weapons... Hey, where'd you come from? I didn't realize moxie weapons in this game healed you for the damage that they dealt. There's one, uh, one moxie weapon that Salvador can make a lot of use out of, for the exact same reason that he can make a lot of use out of the Ahab and Pimpernel. It's called the, uh, the Grog Nozzle, and you can only get it in the, uh, the, 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 the whatever it's called the Dungeons and Dragons themed event, and by event I mean DLC pack. The Grog Nozzle on every reload has a chance to make you drunk. If you're drunk, or while you're drunk, the Grog Nozzle fires increased, it's like a shotgun pistol, the Grog Nozzle fires increased pellets, uh, but decreases accuracy while you're drunk, and I think it lasts I don't remember if it's till next reload or if it's a flat amount of time, but the drunken effect makes your screen wobble, and I think makes everything a little blurry. And you'll fire, you'll just fire more pellets, and I think you fire it faster while you're drunk. It also is guaranteed slag damage. You can only get it during a mission, though. As soon as you finish the mission, you lose it. You have to go make a bunch of dwarves drunk for reasons I don't understand. But it's a slag weapon. And I think it allows you to heal for the most amount of health out of any weapon because of Salvador exclusively. Because he can, he basically, if he's got another shotgun, it'll fire, while he's drunk, they'll both fire more pellets, the grog nozzle and whatever shotgun he's using. And while it's in your hands, you'll heal for whatever damage you deal. I believe that's how it works, or maybe I'm misremembering what I read about it. But basically, Grog Nozzle, you, if you have the Grog Nozzle, you gun Zerk, and you'll pull out the... 
you'll pull out the weapon. And it's great. It makes it makes all things just faster to deal with. Come on, boys, let's go! Let's go! Come on, reload faster, reload faster, reload faster, reload faster. Thank you! There we go. Double kill! And by double kill, I mean level up. So I'm going to take another point of smaller, lighter, faster. It's, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that'll be 5% less magazine size for, like, what? So that's, uh, 24%, yeah, 25% faster reload speed. That's, that, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. That's fine with me. Eventually, I'm just going to get to a point where I'm not even going to have a downtime, or I'm just going to lose my health and I'm going to fall over. Come back to me, Death Trap. I need you, buddy. Thanks, buddy. You get down here. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hit you with a slag grenade. I don't like the the. Ow. Oh, I didn't even move him. Come on, fire the friggin'. There you go. Okay, there we go. I died finally. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't like the fuse time on that singularity grenade. But there's nothing I can do, so I gotta deal with it. <clears throat> it also didn't actually pull the robot down to it. I thought it would pull him off the edge. I could dream. A man can dream. Let me dream. Respawn. Respawn, indeed. Can I jump across these? No, no, I can't, because I can't even land on the friggin' pipe. Frig you, Sergeant Loaders! That didn't work. That thing has a m obnoxious, obnoxious reload, or uh, fuse time. That's ridiculous. I'm kind of wishing this was Warframe right about now, where whenever I get back up, I have a small invulnerability window. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit in here and I'm just gonna pop you a bunch. But yeah, every time you go down in Warframe, you have a small invulnerability window, and I really wish I had that right now. I would very much like. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say I'd very much like to know their health when I'm respawning, or not respawning when I'm shooting them, or when they're spinning. Rather, there we go. Thanks, Death Trap. This took me a lot longer than it needed to, but let me. Let, there we go. There's one. And where's the other? Oh, it's right. Okay, it's on the other side of me. I was right. I just thought it would be... I thought it was going to be on the left instead of my right. Alright. So, I think that is going to be the episode for now, because there's not a whole lot more I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to call this an episode. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I will catch you next time where I'm popping the pipeline like a blister, like he said. There we go. See, that's what I was talking about. The super fast death meter. I wasn't... Wasn't... Uh, I'm not too surprised by that. There we go. That's the word I'm going to go. But I hope you all enjoy this, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. It's been a ton of fun.